What's up, guys? Brian Horton with BK Trading Academy. And guess what? I have a secret, something that I usually do, and it kind of couples with the B swing strategy that I have. I have a way that you can actually profit a high, high percentage of the time. I'm talking about in the 90s. The only thing that you have to do during this particular secret, the strategy that I do is wait. If you can be patient and wait, and when you see these setups, execute it every single time. And I will say that I've been profitable in the 90 percentile because that's all I'm doing. I'm only trading this specific level and that's it. So you'll have to probably scan some charts, scan some pairs, find these standalone levels, find these levels and trade it. That's it. I'm going to show you exactly what I mean, guys. I want you guys to hit this thumbs up because I'm going to show you something that makes absolute sense. I'm going to give you the logic behind this as well. Not just saying do this because I say it. I'm going to give you the logic behind it. So go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell. In the meantime, look in the description below. We have a public discord where you can actually join. We're going to be praying every single Monday at 5 p.m. EST in our prayer room. So go ahead and take a look at that. Also communicate with like-minded traders, drop some trade ideas, and just talk amongst each other. In the meantime, guys, let's go ahead and get right into it. <laughs> yeah, I know I got problems and I don't know where to go. I don't want to put the blame on it. So All right, guys, so I'm literally own. going to go ahead and just kind of scan various pairs pairs that I haven't looked at, and we're going to actually back test exactly what I mean, and then I'm going to go ahead and give you the logic behind it. So what we're going to go ahead and do is first look at Chef JPY, tell you exactly what I mean. So we're going to only trade standalone levels, okay? Standalone levels are levels that peak and separate from that peak immediately, right? So what I mean by that is that this right here, right? So I'm going to go ahead and circle this right here, here is a standalone level. This was a wick, and this could be from news, but anywhere within this area right here, okay? Only trading that level. And if you go ahead and grab a rectangle tool or a line, make it thick enough and just draw it across, almost 90 to 95% of the time, if not higher, price is going to react on that level and reverse, right? So the only thing you'll need to do and what requires on your part is to wait for price to hit that level again, okay? So here's a standalone level. This is why I call it a standalone level. Price shot to the upside right here, and guess what? Pulled back, right? It's no consolidation to the side, shoot up a bit, came back down. No, I am only interested in levels that comes to a point and goes the opposite way aggressively. That is a standalone level. Now, this was a wick, and I don't know if it's because of news or not, but it still can be significant. So I want to make sure that I reiterate that to not necessarily trade long wicks, but you want to trade standalone levels. Let me go a little bit more into it. Let's zoom in really quickly here. Let's zoom in a bit more. And you can see if I draw a line, next time price comes to this level, you're going to trade it and it's going to be a swing trade. It works on the weekly and the daily. Sometimes you can see it on lower time frame. But for this specific strategy, I only want you to do higher time frame because that's the big picture of it all, right? The higher time frame can show us trend reversals. It can show us what's going on and it'll show us what the big bankers are doing. So what is the logic behind this? How does this work? All it is is supply and demand, guys. That's it. So I used this analogy before. We're going to imagine that this is a coach bag, okay? A coach bag, a lot of people are familiar with coach bags. They're pretty expensive. And let's just say the high point here is $400. And this is the level here. Now it reverses pretty quickly because that is expensive to buyers and they need to bring in more buyers. So in order to bring in more buyers, guess what? They have to drop that price to on sale. And as this price goes on sale, now buyers are starting to look at this coach bag again and say, you know what? That is an awesome price. I'm going to go ahead and buy it. So let's just say this price here is $200. So they put that coach bag on sale for $200 and whenever price is cheap and you have a product that many people want, price is going to rise again eventually. Again, it rose and guess what? As soon as they hit this level again, it reacted. So if I get my measuring tool from the top here to the lowest it went was 548 pips. Now it doesn't look like much because I'm on the weekly time frame. That's why. So this is a swing trading strategy, but it requires your patience. You have to trust me on this, guys. If you don't have patience, if you don't have, I would say, a decent size account, this probably wouldn't be a good fit for you. If you have an account, let's say anywhere between 500 to 1,000, you can still do this, but I would only use 
10 cents a pip. You want to manage your risk properly. You're not trying to get rich quick, but I'm showing you this strategy here. And it's very similar to the B-swing strategy in which you execute a trade within six months to a year. So if price hasn't been at this area for six months to a year, then you will execute on that trade. So why does it work? Okay. So eventually price is going to break out, right? Just like any other time. But if it breaks out, because I know that this price is significant, nine times out of 10, it's going to pull back right back to that area right here. And it makes absolute sense. So price came here. It pushed to the downside aggressively. Remember, that's the key. Look for aggressive push. So when price comes back and revisit, you're going to sell and do the exact same thing, okay? Now, before you sell, I recommend you see some sort of wick rejection or something that's indicating that price is going to reverse, okay? So I see a strong bullish push to the upside. It peaks out here and then a red candle forms. That's when you will get in at the end of that red candle and you will start selling. And it's up to you for how long you want to sell just know you probably want to be in there for a few days to maybe a couple of weeks. This is swing trading. This is for people who are looking to collect a lot of money and have patience. So you're going to have to be able to sleep at night. You want to put in a nice stop loss. Now for swing trading, you never want to put a tight stop loss. If I'm looking to gain 500 to 600 pips, a stop loss of 200 pips will suffice. And you have to be okay with that. But if you have a minimal lot size in which you're risking a comfortable amount, according to your account size, you should be completely fine. All right. So this is what I mean. You want to see some sort of wick rejection or you want to see a candle going the opposite way before you execute. The reason why I say that is because we have this pullback and guess what? An aggressive bullish candle. You don't want to enter because I see an aggressive bullish candle and it continued. And because it broke, we know that nine times out of 10 is going to retest. And when it retests, then you will go ahead and buy. That's all it is. OK, only when it breaks and retests, then you buy. But if it approaches this area, you see a wick rejection or smaller candles or something showing that price is going to come back down. That's when you sell. Let's just go to a random chart here. Um, let's just go to GBP USD, okay? And I am going to find the exact same thing. Remember, we're going to find aggressive pullbacks here, okay? So let me go ahead and fix my chart here. So this here stands out right here. And I'm just going to mark some, some random ones here, okay? So anything that have these points right here, and then we'll look in the future, right? Some, somewhere around here. Let me grab my tool and let's go ahead and look to see where we're going to execute at. OK, I'm going to grab my rectangle tool. Remember this area right here. OK, and we grab we draw a rectangle because we know that price can go anywhere within this rectangle. It's not a certain price. OK, so look at this reaction right here. So you're going to wait, see when it comes back here. And if you see some sort of pullback or trend reversal, then you will go ahead and buy just like that. And from this wick here to its highest was 2,700 pips. Now you may not want to stay in a trade that long. It's completely up to you, but I say you can get a minimum of two to 300 pips in something like this. Okay. You want to see signs of wick rejection. Let's go back here. So in the future, I know if price comes to this area, this will be a huge selling point, right? Or if it breaks, I know it's going to retest and that would be awesome, right? So price obviously isn't here yet, but this is on my radar. This is exactly what I'm talking about right here, okay? So I know also right here, here's a very aggressive pullback here or a point, I would say. It stands alone. So this is what I mean. We have a point here and aggressively push to the downside. A point aggressively push to the downside. This is where I would have sold. So if price makes its way back up here. I'm looking for some sort of trend reversal where I see a wick rejection or candles that are big and it becomes smaller, meaning that buyers are losing steam. And guess what? I will sell hill again. That would be considered a triple top. Now, it may not even sell there. It may jump higher like I did, like I mentioned in the last uh, example. And if it does, nine times out of 10, it's going to break and retest. And then that's where you would buy. I'm telling you, if you did nothing but that, you will probably grow your savings account a lot faster than you would your retirement account, or you will grow your trading account a lot faster than your savings account. So guys, this is it, guys. This is it. It makes absolute sense. These are the levels that our bankers, our hedge funds, and our institutions are looking at. They're not looking at these 15-minute charts trying to figure out 
what exactly is going on and when they're going to enter, right? So you may look at this, this may be considered a minor level, but for the big picture, they're looking at the high levels. They're about trading big bucks. They're putting in millions, often sometimes billions of dollars in this market because they are looking to make money and they use that money to move that market. So when price gets to this point and they know buyers have been exhausted, they need to bring in more buyers, they are going to sell and it's going to be aggressively right? So only peaks, one, we're only looking for peaks or only, we're only looking for bottoms like this, where price hit here, shoot aggressively up. Um, and we're really only looking for peaks where it points and then it shoots aggressively down. Now, oftentimes, here's a disclaimer, oftentimes when price gets to that level, it will come down a bit and oftentimes it will come back and retest. Okay. That's a double top and that's completely fine. So if you missed it, for example, know that price is going to retest, then you will look for a sign of wick rejection or a trend reversal and then sell. So from here down to its lowest peak, let's say you just got out here. 2,649 pips. That's it, guys. But each candle represents a week. So it's going to require patience. Sometimes you will be in there for months. If you're a position trader, let's say you're up $500 and you don't mind holding that trade for a while. Sometimes you can put in multiple trades at once, maybe multiple 10 cent lot sizes so that if you get 100 pips, you can exit one and you can hold on to multiple others and still gain money, guys. And this is it. So if you don't know how to trade these levels, if you're someone who's been looking at all these strategies and trying to find something that fits, if you have patience, if you have a decent size account, and also if you are someone who work nine to five and you can't keep your eye on the chart, this is a strategy for you guys. So show me some love, guys. I'm telling you, this is it. I've been trading for about 12 years and these are levels that I always trade, right? Sometimes I scalp, sometimes I intraday trade. But most of the time I swing trade and position trade. And every time I see a setup like this, I am always on it. There are times that I miss intraday trading or sometimes that I miss scalping, but I will never miss a swing trade when we are at levels like this. OK, this is also, again, kind of like a B swing strategy that we've created. Kenya and I created the B swing strategy uh, is in, on our website. But if you need your handheld or if you want to talk to us directly 24 seven, I suggest you join our private Discord community. Our private Discord community comes with our lifetime student access. On our website, www.bktradingacademy.com is in the description below, and we will hold your hand. We will actually even trade live with you from Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, New York session. We also drop trade ideas as well from time to time. We don't want you to lean completely on our trade ideas. We want you to learn so that if anything happened to us or anything else or anyone else, you can trade independently on your own. Got so guys, it. that is it. I want you guys to write in the comments and let me know if that's helpful. Sometimes simple is just simple. That's all we need. But we over complicate trading oftentimes. And all we need to do is just find these levels, have some patience, use proper risk management. And that is it and create your trading journal and put that in your trading journal and only do that strategy if this is something for you. And if you're a busy nine to five person like I was at one point. So guys, I will see you in the next video. Give me some love again. And you guys have a blessed day. With you, I'm so different. But to me, I'm so cold. I know, I know something's got to change.